Hi guys, Kirk here with Kirk Giordano Plastery, my son Jason doing the video. Today what we're going to do is uh, the homeowner hit this with her bumper, pushed it in, caved it in, and caused the crack right here. It actually shoved the whole thing here a bit. We tried leveraging it with uh, bricks and everything, but once you hit it with a car, it's tough to move it back. So what we're going to do is, I got Weldcrete. Weldcrete is a bonding agent for when I mix up some color coat, and I'm going to put luminite in the color coat, and that's going to give me the exact texture. I'm going to build this up about a quarter inch, and I'm going to fill this crack right here and make it cosmetically pretty. But first, I'm going to go ahead and apply some of this Sikaflex caulking in here. That way, this caulking, when it dries too, will give it a little bit more flexibility and um, it'll support it just a little bit more because when this Sikaflex gets hard, it gets pretty strong. We've nailed it in pretty well, but you can only do so much for a situation like this where um, it got smashed. Anyway, this is this stage. We're going to mix up some cement and I'll show you that part in a minute. Okay guys, notice this is color coat that I need. Now, it's got luminite in it. Show them that bag on the truck. See that luminite in that brown bag? That's the good stuff. It's about 35 bucks a bag. And what it does is you can put it, if I was to fill this up with soupy cement, put two scoops in it, flip it over, 10 minutes, this would be a, a mud pie. So I've got it in the color coat itself because I'm building color coat up more than it's uh, designed to be. Color coat is only meant to go about an eighth of an inch thick. But because this is concaved, I'm putting about a quarter inch right here. So I want it to set. I want it to set real fast. And so there's where the Luminite is necessary. You, know, you have a, well, I have a nine foot utility bed there. That's got boxes with any type of tool known for what we do for a living. So, always ahead of the game because I can just go in my box there and I, I know all the tools that I may need on any given job. So, it really pays to have a utility truck. Anyhow, there this is. Now I'm going to float all this. Get, get this a little bit thicker right here. That way when you look at it at an angle, it's as straight as it's going to be. Now granted too, they could have tore the whole thing apart and redid it, but uh, they want a quick fix. This is a quick fix. In a minute I'm going to go ahead and float that and I'll show you the final product. Okay guys. Uh, that's it. Note again, the finish here matches the finish here. It's called a 1620. All that means it's got a heavy aggregate. So that's the way we patch it up. Um, thanks, Jake, for doing the video. Thank you, folks, for watching. Um, this is Kirk, Kirk Giordano Plastering. For those of you who want to do it but simply don't know how, hope you've enjoyed this, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.